Okay, stem and leaf flats are real simple. Um, if you've got a list of numbers, it's just another way to organize data. So, if you've got a bunch of numbers, Put them in a stem and leaf plot. Um, this ranges from 0 to 60. So what I would do then is I'd put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the stem. And then you put a line. And then you just put them in order. So the smallest number is a 0. So I got to put that in a 0 column or a row. And then the other, what this means is it's the ones digit. There is nothing in front of it. These are teens, 20s, 30s. So we've got a 15, a 5, or no, a 7, a 1, and a 9. So I'd put the 1, 7, 9. Okay, then I get to the teens. Uh, here's an 11. So I just put a 1 here. Then it's two 15s, right? So I'd put a five and a five, and then a 17 and 18. Then in the 20s, there's two 23s. 31, and then a 60. You guys remember doing these before? Yeah. Now what you, most people forget is you gotta put a key. You can pick any one of these, like 1 slash 1 equals 11. You can pick any example. I, I usually pick the last one down at the bottom, 6 slash 0 equals 60. But you could have picked any one. You could have put 2 slash 3 equals 23 or 0 slash 9 equals 9. Okay? Um, measure of central tendency. That's numbers that tend to go to the middle, center, which are mean, median, and mode, which you've done since elementary. Ever remember how to find mean, median, mode? Yeah. yeah, yes. Mean is the same thing as average. The words are different, but they mean the same thing. So, do you ever remember how to find the mean? Add them together, divide by how many there are. Add them together, divide by how many there are. The median is middle number. But you got to remember, they must be in order. You got to put them in order to find the median. You can't just look at the list here and then find the middle. And then the mode. No, that's range. Is that how many there are for like? What's the most? Though? The most. Whatever appears most is the mode. You can have more than one mode and you can have no mode. If they all appear only one time, then there's no mode. Uh, if there's like three numbers that each appear twice, then all three of those are the mode. So if you had a stem and leaf plot, to find the mean, you would add them all up and divide by how many there are. The ones we're going to do most of is find the median and mode. You can use a stem and leaf plot to find the median because it's in order. You just start at the end and count. So there's first and last. Then I would go to 31 and 1. Then I'd have to go here, right, because I'm going backwards this way. There. 23 and 9, then it'd be 18 and 11, 17 and 15, so that would be the median. Now we don't put 5 for the median, you put 15. 15. And in the mode, you can look which number appears most often. Um, now it's got to be in the same row. See, there's 1, 2, 3, 1, so sometimes people will put 1. But this isn't a 1, this is an 11, and that's a 31. 
The number that appears most often, I think, is 15 and 23. Am I right? Yeah. So there's two of them, 15 and 23. So that's all this really is. They don't get any harder than these. Uh, decimals are common to use in a stem and leaf plot. The smallest decimal is 0, 0.0. The biggest is 5.8. So you would start, you'd go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you would just fill them in. I think they did it for us here. Yeah. Here they put them unordered, which doesn't make any sense because then it doesn't help you at all. Here's the order. 0, 0.0, <coughs> and then it skips up to 3.5, 3.9, and so on. And then they put the key in here. They chose 4, 3 equals 4.3. Again, you can use any one of those numbers. So we can find the mean, median, and mode. Um, we would just add all these up. So it would be probably easier to look at the list and divide by how many there. The median, start at the biggest and the smallest and work your way up. So then it would be this one and then 33.5 and then 5.0, 4.3. Now, that means there's two in the middle. <coughs> Turns out they're the same number, so that's what the median is. If they're not the same, let's just say, for example, the two middle were uh, 4.1 and 4.3. Then it's just the number in between them, which would be 4.2. And if you can't, if they're a bigger, further apart, you just add them up and divide by two. It's the average of the two. Okay, remember how to do that? Okay, then the mode. The number that appears most often, I think, is that one. Yep. 4.1. So here, the mode and the median are the same. I would guess the mean is probably right around the same, too. So here we've got a bell-shaped distribution. When you get into, or if you ever do get into, uh, like if you were at college and take a stats class, um, they have these bell curves. What this means is this is a perfect bell curve. It's distributed evenly. These two are the same height, these two and these two. Okay. Um, this is a histogram. Remember a histogram, the bars are up against each other. That's the only thing different than a bar graph. And on a histogram, the side is frequency, which is how many times it happens. So what this means, if they don't ask us to find the mean, all they want is the median and mode. But if you did have to find the mean, this means one student got two. Three students got three, so you'd have three, three, three. And then it would be five students got four. <coughs> then it just keeps going. Um, it's seven students got five. And then you'd go down, you'd list all the scores and then you'd find the, the mean. Anyone know a quicker way you could do it on the calculator instead of listing them all up? There was one two, so it's just two, plus three threes, three times three, plus uh, five fours, five times four, plus seven fives, seven times five, Five sixes, three sevens, and then an eight. So it adds up to 125. But then we got to figure out 
how many there were. So it's 125 divided by the total. So there was one here, right? Two of these, or no, three of those. Five of those. Seven of these. Five of those. Three and one. There was 25. So the mean is 125 divided by five? Five. That means the average score was five. This one's simple and it's a perfect bell curve like this. What's the median? Five is gonna be in the middle because it's the same amount on each side. And what's the mode? Which point appeared most often? Five. Because it's the tallest bar. Appeared seven times. Okay, so here they just give another couple examples of, uh, well, they got an error here. I'm doing a stem and leaf plot. The smallest number is a 10. The biggest number is 45. So they went from one to four, fill them in, and then they just put a key. Okay, one zero is 10, or you could go four or five is 45, whichever one you want to do. Here they made an error. They, they put it's five, one is 5.1, it's not, it's 51. Okay? Mm -hmm.